Hi witches, it is that time once again. We are going to be setting up our new moon in Pisces altar here at the Serpent's Key. As a reminder, this is a community altar, so if you're in the area, feel free to stop by, give it, give it a visit, and very soon I'll be having different altars all over the walls for the different pantheon, so I'm super stoked about that. Stay tuned for more. But for today, let's start by cleansing our altar. Now, the first thing we're going to do, of course, is cleanse our altar. And for cleansing today, I'm going to be using our wonderful Florida water to stick with that water element that is so intrinsic to Pisces. Again, if you guys haven't seen my last video from um, yesterday, you can go ahead and check it out, talking all about correspondences and with Pisces being a water sign, I wanted to focus on a liquid version of cleansing. So um, to use this for cleansing, I literally sprinkle it on my altar and let it dry. Florida water is alcohol based, so um, if that is something you're sensitive to, just be aware of it and also like exercise fire safety because it will ignite so just be careful next things next i know you guys have seen this quite a bit but i feel like i use certain tools during certain seasons of the year and one of the tools that i've been using a lot is this altar cloth now i really like this this is from um goddess provisions they sent me like a monthly box and this came with their charm casting kit um but i really like that it has the moon phases on it and like the eye motifs um as well as some like seasonal motifs of plants and stuff um i really love the color as well so blue and white being a associated with this new moon, but primarily I'm choosing it because of this eye motif. So Pisces is all about kind of illumination. If you're doing some divination, this, uh, this lunation would be fantastic for that. So I want to invite in some divinatory energy and that's why I'm going to be using this. All right, I tried to get that as centered as possible. I know last time it was a little bit wonky, but you know, it's okay to not be perfect. Um, the next thing that we're gonna add is some sort of vessel to make moon water with. This is something that I've had for a very long time in my practice. I grabbed it out of my parents' basement. Don't know where I got it, but I've seen a lot of similar things at thrift stores. Um, so this is what we're gonna be using to not only make moon water, but also to do some divination over on Patreon in case you guys wanted to check that out. I have live rituals every full, full moon and new moon. Um, so for this one, we're gonna be doing some wax divination. I'm very excited about that. Because it's me and altars would not be my altars without a little bit of symmetry, I'm going to be adding two pieces. I have this kind of crystal ball, again, focusing on divination and sort of those intuitive, um, you know, vibes that Pisces brings us, as well as this. This is actually the original vessel that I used to make moon water in when I was like 13 years old. I bought this with my allowance. Um, so it's very fun when I'm able to use it in adult um, spell work, so it's pretty cool. I'm gonna be putting these on either side of our vessel. Okay, now to balance out all of that watery energy, we are going to be using two blue candles. I really like that they're light blue because that's one of the colors that I'm seeing a lot around this time of year. So um, I thought, you know, fire and water, I'm gonna put these on either side of my altar in a glass candle holder.
All right, beautiful. So next things next, we're going to be adding some crystal allies. And I have a bunch here of some selenite, some blue lace agate, some sodalite, and I am totally blanking. I think this is a blue calcite. Um, but I also have this really gorgeous citrine that somebody left at our community altar. So thank you for, you know, contributing. Um, and I'm going to place this right at the forefront because I think it's just a really cool little memento. Um, so hopefully that's okay as part of our community altar. But beyond that, I'm going to just kind of place some crystals around our vessel to kind of amplify the energy of the moon water that we're going to be making. Now finally with this altar being of course very Piscean, um, I am going to be adding all sorts of shells and things that I have collected over the years um, from like beaches and trips and stuff like that. So I'm going to be adding these to kind of add that last little water element to our altar. All right, so let me step out of the way. That is kind of what it looks like for now. And of course, I'm gonna flip the camera around and zoom in as usual, but I did wanna leave some space in case anyone else wanted to leave stuff on our community altar. I'm always just like so touched and so grateful for anyone who comes in. So thank you guys so much for joining me today and let me flip this around and I'll show you what we did. <laughs>